A man who was jailed at the age of 11 for murder is in police custody again. Nathaniel Abraham is accused of a list of criminal behavior in just the past few days, including punching three deputies as they tried to arrest him. 7 Action News reporter Simon Chowdhury is here with the shocking accusations. Simon. That's right. The accusations are shocking. It all happened in a stem of just a couple of days. And now the family of the murdered victim is speaking out. Nathaniel Abraham, though, is in custody right now, facing a number of accusations, like I said, stemming from the past few days. He was charged with indecent exposure, but when he didn't show up to court, deputies went looking for him. Now we're told he ran from authorities, eventually being tased, but not before allegedly throwing punches at three deputies, and this was caught on camera. This is cell phone video of Nathaniel Abraham's arrest Wednesday morning. You can hear the deputies shouting and a taser going off. This is not what Marty Hayden had wished for for Abraham. I wanted to see something good come from from this tragedy with my losing our, my nephew. Uh, and uh, to this point, nothing's good come from it. It's very disappointing. Marty's nephew, 18 year old Ronnie Green, was murdered by Abraham. There's not a, really a day go by that I don't think about my nephew. The 11 year old spent eight years in prison for that crime, but it seems as though Abraham has trouble staying out of trouble. The latest accusation is that he punched three deputies Wednesday morning. One was a glancing blow to the head, one was a punch to the head, and the other deputy had a cut on his nose. His latest string of allegations started on Monday when a woman accused him of indecent exposure. Abraham was arrested and was supposed to show up in court to face the misdemeanor charge. When he didn't, deputies went looking for him. They tell us they saw him walking on Baldwin in Pontiac when he made a run for it. When they caught up to Abraham, they say he started attacking deputies before being tased and arrested. Marty says Abraham's life won't get better behind bars. None of that has helped him be able to come out in society and function as a normal adult. Marty met Abraham in 2007 in Oprah Winfrey's office for a segment that never aired. He apologized to the family. After that, Abraham went back to prison on drug charges, and he was also convicted of assaulting prison guards. He was discharged from parole last month, but he could still see jail time for these latest accusations. This young man needs help, and I don't want him to become another statistic. Hayden has this message to the man who killed his nephew. There's still hope, regardless how bad it might be now, there's still hope. And Marty wants to get in touch with Abraham or his family to try and get help for him. The 32 year old will likely face new charges that could include assault on a police officer and resisting arrest. Abraham could be arraigned as early as Thursday morning. Heather. Thanks, Simon. A former Monroe.